waves. So, do you like my hair? Had a haircut, like a new me, Mercury retrograde. So I've got my Mercury retrograde t-shirt on. And I want to talk about relationships. So, um, you know, it's it's a tough topic, isn't it? And I and I've been told by my beautiful girls that when you're in the teenage thing, there's a lot of toxicity that goes around and there's a lot of drama because that's part of being a teenager. And I just wanted to kind of drop in something else though. Yeah, I mean, I know that there's a lot of drama, drama that happens, but essentially you need to know what is a a healthy relationship and what is a toxic relationship. And so I just wanted to drop in a couple of words for you to you know, have a think. And this could be a relationship, a friendship, um, parenting. It could be, so anything that is a relationship with another person, I'm not only talking about um, a, a partner. Um, because really relationships kind of are everything in a sense, in terms of the way that we interact in this world. So here's the thing, a healthy relationship should have an aspect of comfort and safety. And when you're with that person, you should feel at least the ability to be yourself and the ability to feel open and vulnerable and safe. So when you're with this person, they make you feel like they will hold things for you in terms of your trust and that you can disclose things to them and not be betrayed. Um, In general, when you're with this person, the feeling should be in the heart an open heartedness. And this is really the thing that the whole of Youth TV is really to get you guys to start navigating through your inner compass, through the body, through how you feel when you're when you're in situations, and keep that inner guidance mechanism working and operational. Don't let it be closed down, because this is what normally happens, right? Like when your kids you get closed down by whether it's your parents or your friends or your culture or your schooling or whatever. Slowly, we just kind of start losing who we are. And and then, you know, you turn into an old fogey like me and then you're trying to find yourself again. And trust me, I have so many adults that (laughs) come and see me to find themselves. So don't lose yourself in the first place and then do me out of a job, do me a big favor. So a toxic relationship is the opposite of that. A toxic relationship is something where in your heart, in your body, in your system, you feel tense, you feel stressed, you feel closed down. And that could be in terms of you're always having to think about what you say, or you don't want to say stuff, or you prefer just to keep things to yourself. You don't trust the person won't take that information and betray you or use it against you in some way later on. Um, A toxic relationship is something, is a relationship where you're constantly feeling that you have to take care, like it's not okay to be yourself. It's not okay to just uh, relax, like you can't relax. There's always a level of tension in your system. Or there's this idea um, of walking on eggshells. And this is something that is a very common um, description, sorry, in toxic relationships is you feel like I'm walking on eggshells. I never know what's coming next. I never know what to expect. I can't be open. Um, And in a toxic relationship, there's normally this element of control. So somebody's trying to control you, change you, you know, even if it's little things like changing your hair or telling you not to wear a certain clothing or you look better with this or you look better with that or why are you not doing this and why aren't you doing that? And that that kind of gentle, subtle manipulation where you start to notice you're not really being yourself anymore and you're starting to turn into this more acceptable person to this other person is toxic. Like you want to be with people and there are lots of people out there who will accept you exactly 
as you are and they love you for who you are and you don't have to change yourself. Of course, there are lots of other people out there who will happily take you, manipulate you, turn you into a little puppet and make you their little like pet. But that is not a healthy relationship. So take care of your relationships and clean them up and, you know, move into the healthy ones. Because at the end of the day, those healthy relationships are the ones that are going to stand the test of time and they're going to be the ones that will grow with you. All right. Hope that helps. Bye.